Hey the boys and girls, Lucky here and welcome back to another CSGO video. Today we are on DE Dust 2 episode 1, which is a community made map by 3 clicks Philip. So every time in anticipation of a new release of a map or a redo, a revamp, same as we had with Inferno, he's always making kind of his own version of the map, trying to spark a couple of different ideas, get a discussion going and maybe just experiment with a couple of different thoughts. And since I usually like his maps, I'm always doing some sort of a uh, first impressions video like this one. So let's actually check out his version of the new and improved Dust 2. So as we always do in Dust 2, we will rush be fast, no stop in tunnels. However, this time around, I think we're actually going to stop in tunnels. So this is something that I already did recommend or ask for in one of my older videos, as well as in a couple of the streams that I did on Twitch. And that is to open up the ceiling right here, or the skybox, or well, pretty much both, uh, towards the, the catacombs, like the upper tunnels right here, so that you can actually do some sort of smoke execute. So I'm pretty sure you can actually throw over the smokes over here, yes. So this is going to make it a lot more interesting for the... And if we fly back for the T's to actually set up different strats in order to just get a, a better time going onto the B side. Because usually, as it always is, going towards B is a lot harder than going towards A, as long as you're not being able to overwhelm them with a the rush, because you only pretty much got this entrance unless you're doing some sort of a B split. And we'll talk about the scaffolding in a second. That's interesting. Uh, so I haven't really checked it out. I saw this video and I was just like, nope, going in blind and I'll see how it goes. So, I don't think he changed anything on site. Looks pretty much the same to me. But yeah, so I think this is like a great idea. I really would like to see this in the final version that Valve is going to release. I think this will allow for a lot more executes, being able to just make it a lot better. Now, of course, this is something which makes it easier for the T's for taking the site, but I think it can also make it easier for the CT's to retake the site. Since usually if you're trying to retake B, it's very hard, and if you're coming out here, you pretty much fucked most of the time. So that's not something that you would usually recommend. So let's check out lower tunnels. But I don't think anything has changed here. Looks pretty much the same. Still no wooden doors. I, I would love to get the wooden doors back. I think that was actually cooler. Let's move up back. So. Since we have this weird scaffolding right here, let's actually get back to T-spawn and let's get out our, of course, almighty Negev to shred through it. So usually, like, this is going to be maybe an interesting strat to just spray through there with, like, different types of weapons. And I think you can wallbang through here quite easily. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's very, very thin wood, so you're definitely going to damage someone. And I think as a CT you kind of have, uh, I think, spawns the same. You kind of have to think about if you want to go through behind here, not show yourself. But I think this is taking, like, more time because you have to essentially go behind. Or if you want to jump across. So essentially, I don't think this is a bad idea. Since usually if you're an opper trying to go for... whoops. Trying to go for a shot right here, just doing it by reaction is already extremely hard. So many people just doing it by actually looking up right here at the timer and just waiting until like three seconds pass and then they're firing essentially, trying to time it. And I think you can still do this right here. However, if the CT decides to be aggressive and pushes in front and maybe like challenges you to one versus one, I think the the mechanics shouldn't change all that much that you usually would have here. However, I do think that it could definitely affect the way like I think this right here is somewhat of a buff for T-side players, but it makes the game more dynamic. I think more strategies, more tactics is always better. And this here is somewhat of an indirect nerf, so I think this is still evening it out. It's not making it like, a lot better for one side or a lot worse for the other, because of course you cannot call out anymore. Like, usually you would be able to just hold one guy right here, and then like everyone's going B, and you say like two passed and no one's coming, so you know, four versus two, you're probably going to have the upper hand at B-side, and then just follow up as an upper. So that's very interesting. Let's check out long. Again, not much has changed right here. Something that I actually would have liked if some would open up this part right here. So you can go through here and this is actually pit at long. So I think this would be kind of cool. Maybe it's going to be in a different version of the wait and see. But yeah, top mid is pretty much the same as well as short there. So let's check out long because there's only one door right here. And of course, you can still do the same thing when you're just waiting right here. and. Uh, until the, the, the shadow's popping up, you can just wait and fire. However, the 
box has been removed as well as the door. So the one-way smoke you used to be able to do here is not longer possible anymore. However, due to having more space, I think it's easier now to, to push out. Okay, so the box also has been moved. So there's no more sneaky spot right to the left side of the blue box anymore. And again, this is like a... It's a, like, kind of a buff for the T's that you do not have to... Like, if this would be the doors, to go through this very tiny space. Now you can push together, like two, and do like one close, one wide peak. And essentially be more effective with that. But then again, so it's not too strong for the T's, you have the CT's being able to utilize more cover so they can hold from here, here, this side, as well as this side. This is also new. So, I'm not sure if this is of any help though. I don't think you're small enough to duck behind of it. Or is it... Maybe you can boost someone up there or if you're extremely good with... Uh, I think it's a little too far off. So yeah, this is a lot more open now. Which is definitely a lot interesting. I think it's, it's actually making it better because you got more room for actual gunfights. And again, you're still checking your corners, checking here and there and going around. And it's not those like very tight, just naded down space. And I also wasn't a big fan of people camping up in here. I think this was not very skillful. So, I think... And this is actually more skillful, and I do like it. It's a little weird though, however, because... Usually would be able, if you're fast enough to come here first, get a first pick. So, of course, that's not possible anymore. You can still wallbang through here, which is not super effective. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to miss this mechanic. So, essentially, what he did so far is taking out of the first... The first early pick situations, like getting... I mean, you could still go here, but you have to check this spot first, and then you could go for a peek. So again, I think it's still possible. And same kind of with here. Those early picks are kind of being neglected a little bit, which is probably concentrating the gunfights more towards the mid of the round, or like later in the round. What's that? Oh, there he is! Perfect! That's beautiful! So yeah, uh... Maybe experiment with the idea of actually going through here. I'm not sure if that would make it too strong. But yeah, just a, a interesting thought, I guess. So long doesn't... that's new. So they can also hold from up here. So this is, again, a buff for the CT side. And keep in mind, does to a slightly T side, very slightly, but it's pretty even. So this is again some sort of a buff. Usually you would be able, you would have been, uh, should have been able to jump scout right here to get the kill. And now you can just position yourself, but it's still kind of a, a noob spot because if you're staying here and you're firing and you're being naded and mollied, you're kind of in a, a dead end. But I think due to the, hello, that slight hill being at an angle, I think the mollies are going to bounce back. I'm not really sure on that. Sorry, I had the mic, but that could be kind of cool. So A side. Uh, this has also been spread further apart. Which now means... Can you still plant here? Yes, can you plant behind here? You can! Okay, that's nice. So, again, in general, I think what he did is... Limit side lanes towards the beginning of the round, but open them up later in the round. Same with, like, um... The knights being able to... Uh, wish you could set up for uh, with an execute and B. As well as the side on here. So I know many people like to jump up an elevator and now you have like a lot more stuff to see on here. Not sure how this is going to affect any... You could you, you have a different angle right here now which can I think making gunplay more interesting. Using that fire. So you can then fire from here again. And then you maybe peek around there. So that's definitely... Uh, Interesting. I also like to, that you can still plant right here. I think if you plant all the way in the corner, those baskets are kind of limiting your view. So if people are coming around right here and they're very focused, I think they might they might be able to miss it depending on how much smokes are going around. So this could also make for some interesting strats. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, those were the same. It's the same. Okay. So yeah, I think those are like the major changes. We got a scaffolding right here. Limiting the possibilities for the T's to make callouts of how many crossed. But again, uh, making it easier or while well, giving the, the CT's more option. And also they don't have to waste a smoke, which makes defending B-side better. 
but also we got this open up right here which makes it easier for the T's to actually execute a strat. So I think it's pretty even, every time he opened up a possibility for, for one side, there's another one, or, or better said, another equally as good possibility for the other team. And then again we kind of got rid of the early pick potential, it's very risky to go up right here and exposing yourself to this spot, and to Philip right there as well, so yeah. Very interesting. Um, so far I like the majority of it, I'm not so sure about the positioning of this one because I like the early picks, but I I think I like having no doors right here more. And then again maybe the wooden doors, like if you already have a scaffolding right there that's again partly blocking the bullets, just having those be wood again and being able to wall bang through both of them should still be pretty much the same as going through those I guess. So, like, I just really missed the, the times where you could be able to pre-fire the guys behind there. Well, not on, on this side, but on, on this side if there's someone hiding there. So you can actually get some early kills in the lurkers. But yeah, uh, so this one, uh, this was my first impressions, uh, my first impression of the new uh, DE Dust 2 Episode 1. So I'll leave it in the description down below so you can check it out as well. But yeah, I think that's all now, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and like a skill faker out.